Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for joining me. And if you're not, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. That sounded very forward. Oh well. So today we're actually going to be taking the rings out of this Carpe Diem A5 binder so that I can use it for my as a cover for my disc bound. Now I had bought this online from Amazon for about 20 bucks and I need to take these rings out just like I did with my black and white one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the rings out. We're gonna use two thumbtacks here to cover the holes and slide that way. And then I'll just slide my planner in there. If I can not drop this binder. All right, so basically what you need is a screwdriver Electric is more awesome. Some people can like peel and pry this. I'm not the one. Um, I'm gonna try and use these really small screwdrivers to help peel this back. But basically what's gonna happen is the heat from and the constant pressure and rotation from the screw or the bit is basically going to heat this up and melt it and deform it to the point where it just pops off. It's gonna take a couple minutes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward this for you to save you some some boredom. You will get pieces that come off like that. You can also see how it's doing underneath. There, I'll let you see. See, you can also see how it's doing underneath there. You see that? That's what we're trying to get out, this grommet. A little bit more time here, buddy. A little bit more time. Oh yeah, I guess I should have said make sure that the things are open. Yeah, make sure that the that's open. It comes up easier. Womp womp. Okay, moving on to the bottom. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like getting wider. More like a... Uh, try and do this right. More like a little tunnel from all the drilling. Because all we're doing is we're just misshapening, like misforming it. Now what I'm doing is it gets to a point where a piece like this starts coming off, which is good. It's good that it's coming off because that means it'll pop off soon. Sometimes it's much easier to get it in one whole piece. A lot of people are like, I'm not about this life. I'm trying to do this so you can have a binder for your disc bound, but I am about this life. Okay, it's less than 10 minutes of my time and that's done. Now, we have to get this out, these two grommet pieces out. So what you're gonna need now is an X-Acto knife. And what we're going to do is delicately cut, or if you have a seam ripper, it's even better. Delicately cut some of, just a few of the seams. You don't need a whole slew of them, honey. You just need a few from the back. And you want to do it from the inside because what we're going to do later is glue it back closed. Can you see me? I hope so. 
and when you glue it back close you want that thread on the opposite side to be fully whole you'll see what I mean in a minute so let's see so on this side you should be able to not pluck that up okay something fell oh yeah it's that that's trash I don't need that Hold on, I'm trying to see. Because I'm trying to get this thread. Where did I pluck it from? Ta-da! All right. So if you see from the inside here, you should see a little plate. That's what you need to get out of there. That's why we had to pluck it from the bottom. But the gag is, this is the one that's going to be the pain in the butt, this one. So I need something extra long to push it up. Are you long enough? No. I need a long one. Uh, that may make it. <laughs> By any means necessary. Come on, you buzzard. I need you to Elsa this and let it go. <laughs> I lost my finger. And when you do this, it's really crazy to see the materials these are made out of. <sighs> I need to get to that one. I did not have to rip the other side in my other one, in my Agenda 52, and I refuse to do it here. There it is. All right, it's out. I knew this blender would come in handy sometime, because I sure enough don't be using it for blending. Okay. If I can fat fingers and nails strike again. There we go. Maybe. I'm not even sure. There we go. Ta-da! Got it. Now, on this side, you should see like all the stitching. It's still kind of in there. That's good because we're just going to glue it. And... it's gonna still look like it's stitched and it won't be fugly. Now if I could just get my super glue. So right now, super glue. That's what we got, that's what we're rolling with. If I can open it, maybe. There we go. And I'm just going to add some super glue to the edge here, close it. Hold it for a few seconds. That, that's it. Close it. Hold it for a few seconds. And if you want to strengthen a bit the stitches that you already cut on the inside, add a little super glue to that as well. Especially on the inside so they don't keep unraveling. So I got one dot there, another dot there and now it dries. Close that up. Now, with this, I don't know what you wanna do with this. I don't know, maybe you wanna keep it, maybe you wanna, you know, give it to a friend. I'm just gonna recycle it. Now with the tacks, here's the kicker. You have to remove the tack part, so that way you just have the cap so you can glue it in there. Because these actually have like cardboard, chipboard, some type of like board in here that gives it its sturdiness. And if you try and just poke it straight on through, like that, it's my fat fingers and nails and all. If you try and poke it straight on through, obviously on the backside, you're going to get the, the tack, the prong part, so. I can't find my wire cutters right now. But when I do, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Clip off the backs, use the same super glue, and glue it down here to cover the really fugly, fugly holes. And I'm going to most likely paint it with nail polish that matches with this 
It's they say it's platinum, but that's champagne. I don't know who works at Carpe Diem picking their colors, but that ain't nothing platinum about that. That is all champagne colored. And um it'll match and go seamlessly with this binder cover. And that's it. That's all it takes to remove the ring mechanism from a cheaper, I don't want to say cheaper, that seems rude, but it is a cheaper <laughs> planner binder so you can use it for your for your disbound systems. Or even, or you know, with your regular bullet journal system. I don't know, whatever you want to use it for, that's up to you. But yeah, that's it. So really all you need is an electric screwdriver, some smaller screwdrivers. I have a flathead and a Phillips. I didn't really use the Phillips for anything. Flathead is bad in this situation. Some glue stick. And somewhere underneath here, or maybe not. Oh, no, I put it up. And an X-Acto knife with, you know, the blade actually attached, not detached like it just happened. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that I have coming up, please click the subscribe button down below. Um, I gotta hurry up and go vote. So until then, until next time, thank you for joining me. Bye.